Hi, I'm Tom Scarpello of Revology Cars, and this is car number 207, a 1965 Mustang GT 2 plus 2 Fastback in Porsche Jet Black Metallic with Ferrari Coil Leather Interior. Today, I'm going to take you on a walk around of this car, and we're going to go for a drive. Let's get started. Okay, 1965 Mustang GT 2 plus 2 Fastback Porsche Jet Black Metallic. The original black was Raven Black. That was a solid black. This is a metallic black, so it has the metal flakes in the paint, and it just gives that little tiny sparkle to it, and it reads just a little bit gray, but really sharp color. Looks great on the early Mustang. The 1965 versus the 1966, there were a lot of very subtle differences back in 1965 and 66 for us, for Revology, basically it's the grill treatment and the fuel cap. That's what distinguishes our 65 from our 66. So the 65 has the honeycomb grill. It does have the same horse and corral with the fog bars. Actually, they're not the same parts, but they look the same as on the 66. LED lighting, as with all Revology vehicles, 5.0 badge, high performance. This car is equipped with the styled aluminum wheels, 17 by 8. They look very much like the original styled steel wheels, GT badge and stripe. The quarter vent windows, we designed these ourselves. It's a urethane molded part and the inserts are 3D printed. At the rear, 1965 GT had the standard fuel cap. In 66, there was a GT specific cap. Of course, all GTs had the exhausts exiting through the rear valance. Let's look at the interior. This car is equipped with the optional leather interior. The client chose coil leather. This is the same leather, the classic Ferrari tan leather. It looks great. This car is equipped with the six dial cluster option with aluminum trim, and that gets you the instrument cluster, the glove box, door, and the console with the aluminum. Carpet is black, dash pad is black, really sharp interior treatment. A couple of new features that we've added. We've moved the trunk release button from inside of the glove box. Now it's on the kick panel, so it's a lot easier to open the trunk. We also have an auto lamp feature. So now there's a sensor in the dash that will sense when it's dim outside and that'll automatically turn on your headlights just like in a modern car. So here at Revology, we're always innovating for our clients. Okay, here we are, car 207, 65 GT, six speed, T56. I love this transmission. I love this shifter. It's just really solid, really precise. It's got a, a really heavy feel, but just a, a solid feel. It just really feels like you could just, just, you know, shift it like as hard as you want, but you're not gonna break it. It fits, you know, the muscle car sort of theme. So I got a call the other day from a very prominent, well-known individual who wanted us to build him a special one-off car. He wanted a 65 Mustang Fastback, but with a particular engine and some different chassis components. And, you know, we don't do one-offs. And as much as I would have loved to have built a car for this person because it would have been great publicity for the company, it's not what we do. So I had to tell him no. We actually get this type of request a lot. And people, they, they're confused. They're like, why, why not? You know, I can go to a custom shop and I can ask them to build anything that I want and they'll do it for me. Why won't you do it for me? And the reason is that we're not building custom cars. We're building real cars. We're building cars you can actually drive and use. And there's a huge difference between a car that looks great and a car that looks great and drives great. It's a totally different product. And the level of development that you need to produce a car that you can actually use in all of the conditions that people use automobiles, it just doesn't work. It's not economically feasible for a one-off. Unless you want to spend $3 million for that one car, you're just not going to be able to do it. 
Engineering is, it's all about managing compromises. You know, the, the economist Thomas Sowell said that there are no solutions, there are only compromises. And that applies to engineering as well, because if you do something, there is some offsetting impact of what that is. You can make something faster, you can make a car handle better, but then you're gonna give up ride quality. You can make an engine produce more power, but then you're gonna give up reliability. You'll give up drivability, you'll give up fuel economy, you'll give up noise, or some combination of those. Everything's a trade-off. And to develop a car that's a real car that you can use, you have to manage all those trade-offs carefully, and that takes a lot of development work. We've built over 200 cars to get to this point, where we have a reliable platform, it has a good balance of performance and comfort. If we wanted to build a race car, we could build a race car. It's actually not too difficult. What's difficult is building a real car. Funny story. So a company that builds Rustomod Mustangs, there's a, you know, a few companies out there that build Rustomod Mustangs. And one of our clients was shopping around before he decided to buy a Revology Mustang. And he talked to one of these companies and he said, you ever heard of Revology cars? And they said, oh yeah, but they build normal cars. We build custom cars, they build normal cars. And I, I thought, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yes, we build normal cars. That's what we do. That's what makes us different. You know, cars you can actually drive and use. It's kind of a philosophical thing, you know. Cars can be art, it's true, but I don't look at just the visual aspect of a car as being art. I think the way that it drives is part of the art. If you don't get that part right, then you really haven't produced a masterpiece. If you're talking about a car, it's not a painting. It's a functional product. And the performance is part of what it expresses. That's our philosophy. To really understand what a car is, you have to drive it. Just looking at it doesn't give you the full picture. That's my deep philosophical musing for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.